because somehow nobody wanted to wear fur anymore. Wow. And you would never expect a rat to be elegant. Half of us wear it every single day. Well, that's a nice big one right here. But all rat for dinner. We made sausage with it, nutrient gumbo. Mother Nature tried to get rid of us, but couldn't do it. We're still here. We ain't leaving. Rodents of unusual size. Now only on independent lands. It was a jungle. When I grew up, it was a jungle. It was nothing but big oak trees. When I look out now, it looks like a disaster. These animals came out in 1958 like an invasion. All the grass that the muskrats used to eat, they cleaned it like a baseball field. Now it's all water. The nutrients took over, so it's going to destroy the land. So we got to keep fighting them. There's no signs of vegetation coming up there. The kind of vegetation that this soil needs to hold it together. This thing that come from South America, they brought here to breed it with a muskrat. And it was like trying to breed a German Shepherd and a Chihuahua. No natural predator. The only thing we got now that eats a little bit of them is the alligators, and he can't eat enough of them. Hurricane Katrina didn't get rid of them. Hurricane Katrina took my house, but we still had plenty of nutrients. There's still millions around, and they're gonna have more. And that's why they got a bounty, $5 for this state.
Nutria fur was a hit. Even movie stars like Sophia Loren was wearing it. But in the 80s, the bottom fell out of the fur market because somehow nobody wanted to wear fur anymore. All of a sudden, folks couldn't make nothing selling Nutria pelts. And everyone pretty much gave up on trying to hunt them. 